Welcome back to Austin News TV and before we get into the news make sure you guys click the subscribe button hit the like button if you like the video and comment below the number one or two in the comments below this is because I seem to say guys comment below something but none of you guys seem to comment so I'm gonna give you the easiest task in the world which is just to comment a number what is better number one or number two so that is the comments I want to see in this video I know the last video done bad and everyone just doesn't like to see Elzu but now it's this week's news is very interesting it's a, none other than Cristiano Ronaldo so we got more the news than Cristiano Ronaldo as well but let's get into the news right now so the first piece of news is regarding Cristiano Ronaldo so the headlines are stating that Wenger reveals how painfully close Arsenal came to signing Cristiano Ronaldo after he met Star and his mom for lunch. So reports are stating that Arsene Wenger has revealed how painfully close Arsenal came to signing Cristiano Ronaldo in 2003. The then Gunners chief revealed he had an agreement with Sporting Lisbon to sign the Portuguese star in the summer before embarking on the famous Invincible season. Wenger claimed Ronaldo already had an Arsenal shirt and even met his mom, Deleros Aveiro, for lunch. But Man United swooped in the 11th hour, helped by the arrival of Ronaldo's compatriot, Carlos Quiros. Wenger revealed all after being asked if there were any players he regrets missing out on during his career. He told The Guardian, I would say there is not one player, there are 50. On the other hand, maybe the closest was Cristiano Ronaldo when he signed for Manchester United. We had an agreement with Sporting and Man United took Carlos Quiros as assistant coach. And they just outbid us quickly and took Ronaldo but we had an agreement basically. He had the Arsenal awesome shirt, I had lunch with him and his mother at the training ground. It's one of example but there were so many. The history of a big club is full of missed great players. Arsenal became infamous for missing out on superstar players during Wenger's 22 year reign. The likes of Ronaldo, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Lionel Messi, Gareth Bale, Yaya Torre were all close to becoming Arsenal awesome players at one point or another only for the Gunners to miss out. Wenger recently admitted he believes he stayed too long at Arsenal in hindsight. The Frenchman com confessed, Maybe I stayed too long, I don't know. I think I guided the club through the most difficult period in a very successful way. The club thought it was better I stopped. The supporters were not happy anymore, some of them. You can understand that. Some stage, 20 years, people want to change. So that is the news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo and it hurts to, for me massively as an Arsenal fan that we were close in signing Cristiano Ronaldo. This always happens with Arsenal back in the days where we were so close to signing the likes of maybe Lionel Messi, the likes of Ronaldo, maybe Ibrahimovic, any of those players and we just can't get over the line. We either get outbid or we just mess up with the agreement or Wenger does something. So it's something that just annoys me and just, we're just used to that. And that is the news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo that he has never been an Arsenal player and he's never going to. So that is the news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo. So the next piece of news is none other than one of Cristiano Ronaldo's friends, Mesut Ozil. Hope you guys see what I've done there. So Mesut Ozil again, that he's been the headline of this week with a lot of news regarding him and what is going wrong with him at Arsenal. So the headlines are stating that Arsenal tried to offload Mesut Ozil to avoid paying him £8 million loyalty bonus that could have gone on transfers. Arsenal have stumped up an £8 million loyalty bonus after facing to sell, failing to sell Reza Ozo according to reports. So the reports continue saying but the German playmaker remains an outcast until Mikel Arteta but could not be moved on during the autumn winter transfer window. Moves to Everless and Saudi Arabia were trouted although Al Nazir failed to convince Ozo after reportedly bidding £5 million. And it has now emerged that his Arsenal's failure to get rid of the 31 year old had huge financial ramifications. According to the Athletic, the Gunners paid also £8 million at the end of September as a loyalty bonus for entering the final year of his contract. The clause was implemented when he agreed a new contract in January 2018 at the height of his spell in North London. He leaves the Gunners with a huge bill for a player who has not played competitively since March and earns £350,000 a week. Financial problems at Everett Stadium have led to the club making 55 staff members redundant. A squad wage cut was agreed during fo football showdown, but also opted out of the programme. 
Most recently, Gonosaurus mascot man Jerry Q was sacked after 27 years, yet the chairman offered to pay the mascot's wages after tweeting that he was so sad to see Q go. And Gunners boss Mikel Arteta um, didn't put Ozo in the Europa League squad amid rumours that the club wanted to rip his contract. Despite financial worries, Arsenal managed to complete a busy summer of transfer business along with Pierre Mikel Bamiang signing a deal. Thomas Partey arriving, Gabriel Magalhaes, and I don't know why they put in Pablo Murray, and eight free agents, William and Cedric Suarez. So that is the news regarding Mesut Ozil that they have to pay this form of eight million pound loyalty fee. So basically, like when you when a player enters the end of their contract, um, when they actually go to, to the end, they pay some form of a fee, and that's like for their loyalty. And you can see how loyal Ozil was. To be honest, his loyalty went to the wrong instead of the right, in my opinion. So that is the news regarding Meza Ozu. And I've been a very busy recently, guys. I've been trying to balance everything. My laptop's messed up. My everything is messing up at the moment. Again, I'm going to this period where everything's just not going my way. So hopefully this video will go viral, get views, and hopefully we can try and reach at least 600 subs by the end of the month. We're so obviously going to increase the sub cut now after reaching that. So when I say 600, maybe we might reach it by the end of the day. You never know. Hopefully we can see what's going to happen. Hopefully we can see, wait for more. And other than that, guys, it's been Arsenal News TV. Hopefully you guys keep watching my videos. Keep staying blessed and peace.